Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a Q&A with Brayden, but before we get started, I am going to be doing a mini Romway try on haul. So with that being said, I wanna say thank you to Romway for sponsoring this video. And before I get started, I wanna to talk to you guys about all the deals that they have going on right now. Okay, so from now until December 1st, Romway is hosting their annual Black Friday sale where you can get up to 80% off select items. And that's that's insane, 80%, it can't get better than that. You guys need to go check them out until December 1st again and get all of your Black Friday shopping done, all of your Christmas shopping, any, you know, if there's just anything that you've been wanting, now is the time to go check them out. But you guys can use my code, it's McKenzie in all caps. I will include it in right here and in the description below so you guys can go check it out. That code will get you an extra 15% off of their entire site. So not only are you gonna get the deals that they already have, but you can also use that and get an extra 15% off. This is a great opportunity to get your holiday shopping done for your friends, for your family, for you. If you just wanna Black Friday shop and spend some money, this is the perfect opportunity because there's so many options, there's so many different styles. You're gonna find something everyone likes because it's so diverse. Um, some things that come to mind, you know, they have streetwear, they have comfy clothes, they have dressy clothes, they have pieces that are trending on TikTok, they have illustrated apparel, and the list just goes on and on and on. So they have so much stuff to choose from and you guys need to go check them out. Okay, so last thing before we get started, um, but everything, all the pieces that I'm gonna be wearing in this video, I will link in the description box below so you guys can go check them out and go shopping for yourself as well. All right, so for my first item, I have this North Shore Hawaii um, sweat crew neck i always get sweatshirt crew neck and hoodie mixed up but anyways this is what it looks like it's very very soft i don't know if it looks like it but i could literally sleep in this i have it tucked under my bra a little bit to show off the sweatpants as well um but i really love this it's very soft very cute very trendy i'm obsessed so next, I'm going to show you guys these sweatpants I got to not necessarily pair with it um, because you could wear it with so many other items, but it does go well together. So that's why I'm showing it off with the sweatshirt. So I got these sweatpants with smiley faces on them. So as you can see, these are very cute, very stylish. Personally, I've never seen any sweatpants like this. Um, and when I saw them, I immediately knew I had to have them. They had them in a bunch of other colors. So I'm gonna have to go get some more as well. <laughs> okay, so next I got this um, black crop top type thing, but it's flowy. So I'm not really sure what to consider that. Um, it has the cat on it. I'm not really sure what the cat's doing, but this shirt's also really soft. And obviously it's not tight, it's like a flowy shirt, which I think is really cute. It actually came with the pants that I have on as a set, but obviously you can split them up and wear them however you want. I'm just showing you guys for reference so you guys can see a whole outfit together. So for the pants, checkered um, joggers. I thought they were really cute and that you could wear them with a lot of different things. They're really soft as well. This is a really cute and cozy fit as well. So 10 out of 10. Okay, so this um, sweatshirt is actually from their SpongeBob line. It just has the characters on it. It's really soft. And you guys know that I love oversized hoodies, oversized everything. That's why I got this. I thought that it could be really cute to just wear around or, you know, wear every single day because that's all I ever wear. Okay, so next I got three of these tops in multiple different colors. The black one I actually wore in my Instagram picture. And so these were the other two. Um, they're, they kind of feel like athletic material. So they're stretchy, very comfortable, no like wires. It's just a fitted shirt almost, but <clears throat> you guys could wear it as an athletic shirt or it could be like, kind of like how I wore it in my Instagram picture, which was with some cute pants or some sweatpants, which is what I have it on with now. Um, I didn't buy this to go together, but I, I'm again, just showing you guys for outfit purposes. So these are just another pair of black joggers and you can never have too many. Um, and so yeah, 
and they're really cute really comfy super soft and i'm obsessed and while we're on the subject of sweatpants i also got these sweatpants these are just some basic gray joggers just like the black but just without the string and these are really cute and really comfy i say that every single time but they really are okay and then like i said this is just the blue top in orange i had to get multiple colors because they're really cute um but yeah it's just the same top just different color okay and then lastly i got this um leather jacket and you can never go wrong with a leather jacket um i've been wanting one for a while so it's just obviously i wouldn't wear it with these sweatpants necessarily but you can see it's just standard and it has the buttons that you can button if you want but it's really cute um great quality so yeah so yeah that's the end of the haul just a reminder to use my code it's mckenzie to get 15 percent off and go shop runway for all of your black friday needs and all of your holiday shopping and now let's get into the q a video hey everyone so we just recorded like 10 minutes of our question and answer and then my camera app glitched and didn't save the video. So we're starting over. So okay, he just burped. <laughs> so um I don't I don't have my camera because I lost I left my camera charger and battery at NC State when we went there. And I haven't got a new one, so I'm recording this on my phone. But I have my iPad to see um all the questions you guys asked on our Instagram today. So we're just gonna alternate picking questions and answering them for you guys so the first one was plans for after college and we do not know i do not know oh, yeah. hopefully i'll graduate in may if i pass statistics and brayden will graduate in december so we'll be in clemson until may oh what do y'all like to do together yeah what do y'all like to do together in your free this time? was a really good answer on the last video and now it's gone we watch tv together we go out to eat a lot we make videos shopping shopping and recently since i had my surgery mckenzie helps me do everything yeah because he's day. handicapped we're gonna have more on we like she to helps me do everything we eat lots of popcorn. Brandon likes to take pictures of me in his free time. Yeah, um, we play with the puppies. Stay up late. We play with the puppies, but he said. We like to go to Outback. That's our favorite restaurant. Like so I cranky. think the next question was when it like there's so many questions about when is the engage when when is the engagement when is when is the wedding. Um, in 2030. And all I have to say, I'm not going to get too much into it because you guys know that that question irks me, but. You guys will know when I know, and I don't know. It's all up to Brayden. Have you gone on any trips together? If so, what was your favorite one and why? Yes, we've been to Disney multiple times, uh, Universal and Tampa, like for spring break. We've been to Vegas, Miami, LA twice. That was really just over the summer last year. But I think we both agreed that Vegas was our favorite one. Yes. I was able to gamble, and of I enjoyed course. my gambling. We'll never go back to Vegas. Brayden has a gambling problem. No, we will always go back to Vegas. <laughs> Vegas will be one of the first places that we actually go when we decide to take another trip. Okay. And miss the tables. So, what's y'all's pet peeves about each other? My pet peeve is um, when Brayden can't clean up behind himself. So, you example... You toilet paper on the rolls. Okay. Yeah. You don't. Okay. Test nasty. I use the wipes. You use toilet paper too, don't ever use it on the road. Okay, but we're talking about you right now. Let's, let's remember that. This is a perfect example. There was one day where there was two bottles of like rubbing alcohol out on the sink. So I took one of them, put it on the shelf, and then took the other one and put it under the sink. The one that hadn't been the opened yet. The one that was open, you put under the sink. I didn't know that they were both full. I didn't know one of them had been opened, but like it's very easy to just open the other top of that one. So then I got not back in there, not, not even like 30 seconds later, Brayden walks out of the bathroom, I walk in there, both freaking alcohols are bath back out on the sink. I was like, why? Because why? why would I open up a new one whenever one's already opened? Well, then you should have replaced them. He just leaves everything everywhere, like just whatever. Would you like to tell, say your puppy to me? Yes, when you pull hair, little hairs out of my bun. Out of my brain. I she don't do that. Scratches. You know you're obsessed with scratching my head. Well, he has dandruff. 
So do you. <laughs> Not like you. You have bad dandruff and dry scalp. Okay, and you have eczema. Eczema? <laughs> and you have, what's it psoriasis. called? Psoriasis. You have psoriasis. <laughs> That's what you have. Your doctor, you he already told you that. <laughs> That is not, he's lying. He's, I don't know, he, he's weak out. Your doctor is, remember you cried about it. You were sad and thought you had psoriasis. I did and not. you thought it was scoliosis and I told you it was. Scoliosis, yeah. You thought it was scoliosis. You thought it was scoliosis, same thing with your no, back. No, that's what I'm saying. You thought scoliosis. Really? Psoriasis. Okay, thing. I don't know what girl he's going to talk to. That is not true. I scoliosis is with your yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, damn. Whatever. How did your relationship get started? At the club? Three, at the five, six. Club. Three, five, six. At the motherfucking club. Do you guys want to move in a house? Yes. Desperately. There's like not enough room here, but there's no like houses anywhere around here. Well, there are houses. We just don't, we want to rent one. We don't necessarily want to buy one because we know we're going to be moving away. So there are houses available, but there's just not that many available to rent. First kiss. We actually have never kissed. We can have our first kiss. Hey, that yeah. was our first kiss. Thanks. <laughs> Matching shoes. We got like five or six pair, don't we? Mm -hmm. Go check out Brayden's TikTok. Yep. To see them. Yep. Your, your shoes used to be awful. My shoes are better than prior this now. To, prior to this relationship. My shoe game is better your than this. Your life has done nothing but trend upwards in the right fashion since this relationship has begun. Your trend. I've always been stylish. What type of house do you guys want when you're older? A big boy mother. Huge, spacious, with a view and a yard, fence with the dogs to run around. Who does Bentley and Blaze like more? Not necessarily they like us more, but I just really feel like Blaze looks exactly like Brayden, the hair. And then recently I've learned that Bentley looks like me. And like people were saying it on TikTok and I was like, you guys are, you guys are crazy. That's not true. But when you look at her, sorry, Bentley, I have to wake you up again. We both have this. We both have the dark pieces, and then when I wear white, we look like twins. And then Blaze, you know, come here, Blaze. Come here. Look at the camera. The hair, the curly hair. Ah! He almost sat on her. He's got curly hair just like Brayden, so. Come here, Twinning. Well, damn. Well, everyone wants to get in, okay. Do relationships go harder when you move in together? I don't necessarily think so, but if you guys, like, if you aren't meant to be together or you're, when you do move in with someone and you're around them more, you're, no. you're gonna, you're gonna have, like, arguments and, like, you're gonna have to work through things that you don't necessarily like about them or, like, just things that don't work for your relationship. But I like the fact that we did it before we got married, so... It was like, we know no. that if we get married, that we'll be fine. Cause like we've already lived together. What do you think about boyfriends having a girl best friend that isn't their girlfriend? We don't support those kind of relationships, <laughs> do we? No. Good shit. How do y'all balance college, social media, and still have a good relationship? Probably because I procrastinate and don't do a lot of things I should. That's very true. I never do my homework. Ever. I don't go to class a lot of times. Yeah, we're, we're really, so uh, really, you just have all the time in the world to do whatever else you want to do. But I always feel busy for some reason. But how do you guys not get sick of each other? We did. We used to. We, yeah, we, we did. We used to because we started dating during quarantine. And like we were around each other like 24-7 for a long time. And then we kind of realized, especially when we moved in together, that you know it's good about having two rooms in like the living room obviously because i can go in there and do my own thing you can get like we don't we're not always in the same place at the same time and like obviously we'll do stuff like he's about to go eat with his friends and well, i'm gonna eat with myself but um <laughs> anyway like when he was playing football he was gone a lot of times and like school started so we're not around each other a whole time until now that he had a surgery so did your style change when y'all started dating mine has with my bf her style has completely did a 180 for the better. She used to wear some shitty ass clothes. It's because I didn't have any money. Oh my gosh, they were, it was terrible. And really, when we first started dating, she really her her outfits wasn't getting much better. And then I slowly started to implement my ways, my style, the shoes. I like the shoes because I like the shoes, not because of you. I just didn't have the money to buy the shoes. No, you didn't know what you wouldn't know what you'd be walking around with mids on and not even know they mids. But I picked out some fire mids. For one pair. Okay, and what did I do when I bought them? <laughs> <laughs> they 
they became a trend. Where does my guy get his drip from? Got a lot of different places. I get my shoes from a lot of different places, but mainly, mainly Grill Central, mainly, I don't even know. I get my clothes from all kinds of places, a lot of vintage stores, just a multitude of places. It takes time to really have the style that you want to achieve, but I am in a place right now where I do not Are care you? about what I wear. <laughs> I wear a <laughs> I, I wear. <laughs> I, I think he took that. his. I think he took his I pain wear, medication I, before I, this I, video. I wear my slides and my sweatpants and just a tee every day now. Cause I only have one arm. No reason for me to throw on something fly when it's gonna get crazy with a sling. It's sad, but it'll be alright. What do y'all have in common versus what don't y'all have in common? My love for We're big both jeans. Both black. <laughs> what? That. Just go. I, I said Dave. my love for big jeans. Brayden hates what have in baggy with jeans. Him? I love baggy jeans. Love mom jeans. Yeah, those are hideous. They're disgusting. You do have some fits whenever they're they straight, but sometimes they're just. How do you deal with being injured so well? Um. Because I have the same surgery and I walk him through it, and I help him do everything like opening water bottles for himself because I know he can't do that without me. <laughs> I told him that because I had the same surgery how many years ago is that like three yeah and his is like his was torn worse than mine but like I know all the little things that like just anybody else wouldn't know like opening a water bottle because you can't use your hand like I cut up his steak every day because you can't do nothing number one the pain medicine that they've given me does make me feel good whenever I do take it. Um, so that's probably one part. Other part is that it just happens. You know, playing football, you get hurt a lot. So I've had two foot injuries or two foot surgeries, I guess, my thumb and now my shoulder. This is definitely probably the biggest one, um, like the longest I've been out for an injury, but it is what it is. Whose idea was it to get two dogs? Mine, Blaze was like unanimous. We had wanted another dog for a while. That's actually why we moved here like out of our apartments because we didn't have enough room to have two dogs. And then we were looking at a dog that looked very similar to Bentley, but it was a boy. And then by the time we got all moved in, someone had bought the dog. So we were like sad because that's like obviously the one we wanted. And so we just kind of held off. And then I almost took, we almost like adopted that cat that lived outside. And then um, I decided not to. And then someone ended up taking her. And then I was fostering some kittens. Then they got, they're like three weeks old, they got sick and passed away, literally in my hands. It was very traumatic and I was really upset. And so I started looking at the same place we saw the other dog and Bentley was on there and she was like literally the same, I feel like she was like the same exact breed, just in girl form. Yeah. Um, and so I went literally went and picked her up the next day. And we love her. Bentley, wake up, come over here and say hi. Can I say hi to the camera? You got you. You're being too sleepy. Her hair is like, she's mad guys woke up from a nap. We tried to answer different questions than we have before. Um, but yeah, hope we got some of you guys' questions answered. And that's all. Like and subscribe to see more. So, like Brayden said, like and subscribe to see more. And um, I can't say see you guys next time. And I can't, no, I can't say see you guys next Thursday. And I can't say see you guys next week because I don't post regularly, but I'll see you guys next time.